Um, thank you. Uh, you hear me okay? Okay. Uh, so I would like to um, tell you a story about the Firefox OS and HTML5 games. Um, quick question. How many of you heard about Firefox OS? Awesome. Great. Um, how many of you are uh, HTML5 game developers? Okay, a few. Okay, cool. Uh, so, uh, my name is uh, Andrzej Mazur, and um, I started a um, small company called Enclave Games, uh, in which I just make HTML5 games for fun. Uh, it's not even a company yet, it's just, uh, you know, working on something that I love in a free time. Um, I run the JS13K Games competition that will end tomorrow. Uh, any one of you heard about the competition? Uh, okay, nice, thank you. Um, I run um, meetups in uh, Warsaw, Game of JS meetups. Uh, only a couple of them, it's not so, so big. So um, I also uh, um, write on the blog. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and on GitHub. And I will tell you about the game I created uh, with my friend. Uh, I did the coding part and he did the graphics. And the uh, game uh, I would like to tell you was uh, prepared for the Firefox OS platform, especially. And the story goes like this. It's it's very simple game. It's not complicated. You just fly with your rocket and avoid the asteroids. Uh, so so the, the idea was to have a very simple game, but uh, polished and uh, finished, uh, that you can ship the, the finished product. Uh, it was built with Impact.js game engine, quite popular one, uh, and uh, optimized for Firefox OS. Uh, you will have seen uh, in the presentation that uh, it wasn't so, e so hard to um, to prepare the version for the Firefox OS. It's very easy. Uh, and the uh, submit process was also uh, done in a minute. So after uh, a week or two of, uh, 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 of time of, uh, spent on development, it was submitted in the marketplace. And a few days earlier, uh, later, uh, the game uh, was in the marketplace. And you could just download it and play. Um, so, a uh, few words about the Firefox OS. Um, so, it's a mobile operating system uh, developed by Mozilla. And the thing that, um, that th this system is different from the others is that uh, it's built with uh, HTML5 and JavaScript. It's awesome for me, uh, for a front-end developer that worked for a couple of years in JavaScript, that I, have, I can have a whole operating system on my mobile device uh, that runs JavaScript. I can change uh, one CSS style, and the icons will be squares. Uh, so it's very easy to customize. It's open sourced. It's on GitHub. You can check it. You can uh, commit your changes. Uh, as I said, you can easily modify it. Um, for now, it's targeted for low-end devices, so it will work on, uh, on cheap phones. Um, but there is a plan to, to have uh, devices with uh, more hardware, better hardware. And um, it's new old ecosystem because um, you don't have to... Well, uh, if you have experience with HTML5 and JavaScript, you're already prepared to uh, build applications uh, for Firefox, because it's just just the web. Um, the problem with the HTML5 is um, the, the question is if it's ready for, for gaming, because there are some problems that we face. Uh, but there are also good things. Um, it's, it's, uh, HTML5 is free, of course. You don't have to pay for a license. Uh, you can create a game in uh, one code base and just deploy it in different environments. Um, as I said earlier, uh, there are already developers, so you don't have to learn a new language. Uh, it's cross-platform. 
you can create the game and put it in five stores, different stores. Uh, and only, the only thing that you need is just a browser. So uh, you can play your game on a smartphone, on a tablet, uh, on your laptop, uh, maybe on a TV, maybe on your fridge, if you want to, if it has a browser. Uh, the distribution, distribution is very easy because you can just send the link to the game, uh, chatting with your friend, and he can play it too. Don't have any, uh, he doesn't need to have any uh, plugins to play it. Uh, and it's easy to learn from, from, from the code. Uh, you get instant access, you don't have to uh, wait uh, two weeks to have your next version accepted. You just change your code and refresh the browser and uh, the changes are there. Uh, and it's store independent, you don't have to uh, stick to the one store. You can share the game wherever you want. Uh, so <clears throat> the Firefox OS just takes the good, uh, good parts of the HTML5 and gives the, um, the hardware, the, the technology uh, on which the, um, the applications the, the can run. So uh, at least for me, uh, the Firefox OS is just uh, the mobile web uh, on which I, I was waiting for. Um, some words about the weak spots, because the technology isn't perfect. Uh, there are still some problems with the audio API uh, performance, monetization, and uh, working offline. Uh, the web audio API is looking quite decent. It's, it's OK on the desktop machines. It's still a problem on mobile devices, but uh, uh, I think it, in a few months uh, it will be better and better because they, uh, the, the, the guys from the specification are working uh, on it. Um, the performance. Uh, there are many accusations that the performance uh, is bad, but if you gave the, the device to which you can have uh, access to uh, from the JavaScript uh, and access the camera or other contacts, etc., uh, and other things, then the, um, the boost of the performance is, is quite, uh, quite high. Uh, the monetization problem. Uh, if you focus on one store, you can uh, optimize everything to make it work there. Uh, but the, the problem is with HTML5 games that uh, there are still uh, not so many uh, publishers and uh, platforms that help you sell your game. Um, so here the Mozilla Marketplace comes into place and you can of course sell your game there in the Marketplace. Uh, but as I said earlier, it's, it's independent. Uh, from the stores, so you can put it there, you can put it on your own website, uh, you can package it uh, using, for example, PhoneGap, and put it in the App Store. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's independent. And you can put the in-app purchases using the HTML5 APIs. Um, of course, you can, you can um, add uh, advertisements uh, to the game uh, you can sell the license. So there are many, uh, many ways you can monetize the game. And it's uh, getting better and better uh, every month because um, I, I, I'm receiving the emails from the publishers and that they are waiting for, uh, for me to make more games because I, I made one game, it's okay. Uh, I, I, I sell the license and um, uh, there are still uh, not so many developers and many publishers that want uh, working games. So it's some it's, it's a situation where uh, the publishers are waiting for the developers and need the games. So uh, if you start working on the games, it won't be a problem to sell the license and earn money. Uh, working offline. Uh, 
Yeah. So um, theoretically, uh, HTML5 app is a website. So as a website, it's in the internet, and it's, it, it works in the internet. So if you turn off the Wi-Fi, it won't work. But uh, we have the offline uh, stuff like uh, uh, different technologies that, that will help you store your data uh, uh, on the machine of the, um, of the, the guy that, that uh, browse the website and will store the, all, the, all the information. And he will, uh, he will uh, look at the website when it's offline and it will work. Uh, the Firefox OS uh, goes uh, further and uh, gives you the possibility to have a packaged app so we can just uh, zip all the resources and it will work everywhere without the internet. Uh, of course, you can also host the, uh, host the, the game files uh, on your own um, and implement the storage. Uh, so uh, it will also work offline and will, you will have a full control and you will have the option to uh, upgrade it uh, uh, instantly. Um, so let's talk about the, the Firefox itself, how to start uh, the development, uh, what to look for. Uh, first, you can uh, test your game or application in, in the browser. The Firefox OS has a plugin uh, that works as a Firefox OS simulator. Uh, and it works pretty nice. There are great tools uh, that uh, will help you in, in the develop development process. Uh, and of course, you can uh, look for a device. Uh, the first ones was the Geeks Phone Kion uh, that were um, given to the developers. It looks like this. And it, it's theoretically uh, quite low budget. Uh, but, but the game works very smooth. And if you compare it to the phone that, uh, that you can buy for the same money uh, running an Android, uh, especially if it's 2.3, <laughs> it will work with like five frames per second or something like this. So it's a, it's a huge difference that you have uh, uh, you have direct access to the hardware of the device. And there are more devices coming. Uh, there are uh, new countries that uh, start selling the, the phones with uh, Firefox OS. Um, yeah, so the optimization part. Uh, you could um, just package your app, put it in the Mozilla marketplace, and it will work. So if you don't want to optimize it, uh, you can just leave it. But uh, it's a great improvement. It will, it will work a lot faster. So these are the optimization methods that you, you can, um, you can uh, use in your own uh, HTML5 applications or games. It's not Firefox OS specific. Um, so it's a, for example, whole pixel rendering. When you're rendering the, the, the whole pixels, not the parts of the pixels, and it's a huge difference. Uh, so if you're interested in this, you can you can uh, search for more information. Uh, you could, for example, cache the, uh, cache the drawing uh, on the different screen, which is quite popular because you can draw it on the canvas that is not visible. Uh, and it will be just shown on the, uh, copied to the visible canvas. Um, there is one thing that is Firefox OS specific. It's using Mo's op opaque um, on the canvas tag that it's, um, I've tested it uh, on the same code base and it was like uh, running uh, 30 frames per second compared to 60 frames per second. So. I was amazed that it's a huge difference with only one, uh, one tag. 
you can also um, scale the canvas using CSS3 transforms instead of uh, scaling it uh, using JavaScript. Um, there, are, there are ups and downs, but uh, uh, I've noticed that th this way uh, it's, it's not perfect for every game. Uh, there are games that you have to, if, if the uh, screen on which the player is playing is, is different in, on different devices, then playing on, on different devices can uh, give advantages to, to, to the one player and uh, the other player no. So, so, so it's important to adjust this to the game that you are working on, but uh, for most of the games, it's the easiest way to scale the canvas and uh, just fill the screen and uh, that you don't have to uh, worry about uh, screen resolution. Mm, another optimization technique is uh, using CSS for uh, background images. Uh, if you don't have to, if you have a big background that you are still rendering every frame, then you can just drop it and use uh, the image set as a background of, uh, of a div or a canvas just to show it once and just it will stay there. And uh, the rendering loop in the canvas will render all of the things and the background will stay the same. And you can, of course, uh, use uh, different uh, multiple canvases uh, for uh, different layers of your game. So you can um, show the background uh, on the separate layer, uh, the UI on a separate and the player with, uh, with bosses and enemies on, on another. And uh, there, are great, uh, there is a great article on the Mozilla hacks. Uh, I will um, give the, the address of the slides so we can check the article uh, about the optimization techniques uh, that I mentioned here. And uh, so let's talk about the Firefox Marketplace a bit. Uh, it's yeah, a marketplace, hello. Uh, and it works as a place where you can put your game. Uh, as I said, it's, it's not, you're not forced to use only this. You, you, you don't have to use it at all. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a great place to start. There are not so many games and applications, so you can uh, start early and uh, outrun the competition. Uh, and there are two types of uh, applica uh, applications for uh, Firefox OS, the packaged ones and the self-hosted ones that I mentioned earlier. Uh, the packaged one, you, uh, you just uh, upload the zip package and it's distributed, and the self-hosted, just you, you host it on your website. Um, there is a concept of install, uh, instant install button uh, that you can put on your website and just install the game directly. You don't have to go to the marketplace to install the game. You don't have to search for it. You can just put it on your website, tell your friend, just click the button, and will, uh, if, it, if he uh, goes to the website and, uh, from the Firefox OS, clicks the button and have the game installed. Um, and yeah, as I said, it's almost no competition, so it's a um, great time to to start early. And uh, for example, my game is very simple. Uh, it was built like a week or two weeks, and it's uh, um, uh, it's quite popular in the marketplace. So it's easy to to, to start and to uh, to be there before others. Um, let's talk about preparing your game. Uh, it's easy because it's HTML5, so you don't have to learn new technology, you don't have to learn new language. Um, the only thing that you need is a manifest file, which uh, this is the, the basic version in which you see just the name of your application, description, etc. Uh, you can, of course, add uh, more information to the manifest, but uh, it's the basic one uh, that will just work. And the information will be provided to the marketplace. Uh, this 
can be shown on your website, etc. Uh, and uh, when you have your manifest file ready and your game uh, zipped in the, into the package, uh, you can just uh, use the submit form, um, send the file, uh, add the description, screenshots, etc., and just submit it. Wait like two or three days, and the game will be in the marketplace. Um, so um, here, is, here is the screenshot of the game in the marketplace. Um, the, the game itself is in English, but the description uh, is like in eight languages or so. So if, the, if the, someone enters the marketplace uh, from a different country, he will get the description in his own language. Mm, yeah, and the actual device. I will be here, you can grab me and see the device. Uh, it's the Geek's Phone uh, Kion. And uh, I can show you the device, I can show you the game. It runs pretty smoothly. Um, okay. And lesson, lessons learned from the making of the game for that platform. Um, it, was, it was very easy because, as I said, it's just HTML5 and JavaScript. Um, so... Uh, you don't have to do much to implement um, the to, to adapt to, to the um, to the Firefox OS and uh, to upload it to the marketplace. Um, the documentation is, is ready. Uh, if you're looking for if something is not working, you can Google for it and get the answer. Uh, most of the problems are not Firefox OS specific, so you can just uh, look for a problem in, in, if you have a problem in JavaScript, uh, you can find the answers. Uh, the documentation for the Firefox is, is there, so, so you can use it. Um, the, the whole thing with, uh, with the game uh, came from the, from the event that I attended, and um, it was good to see that the, the technology is, is uh, uh, new and you have uh, influence on it. Um, there was a one-day hackathon that uh, we managed to find like three bugs or four bugs in the Firefox OS in the early version. And uh, I think two were fixed almost immediately. Uh, so, so if you have like uh, feature requests or ideas or whatever, you can just uh, send the feedback or change something uh, by yourself because the, the whole system is hosted on GitHub. And it's very easy to, to add something, change something, etc. Um, so to, to summarize the, the presentation and the whole idea, um, Making a game for a Firefox OS is, uh, is very easy. Um, it's very easy to build and uh, very easy to publish in the marketplace. Just a manifest file, just a few optimizations, and it works perfectly. Um, you have the device uh, to which you have access to uh, from the JavaScript. Uh, for me, it's awesome. And you're building not for the Firefox OS, but you're building for the web. Um, because the, the Firefox OS itself is a web app built in HTML5 and JavaScript. So the applications and the games also are just web, web applications, just uh, HTML5 games. Uh, so you can just put it on your website, it will work. Um, and um, there will be a conference in Warsaw in like a week. Uh, about HTML5 games, and um, if anyone uh, anyone wants to go to the conference, you can tweet this, and you'll get the free ticket, uh, like five of them, to give away. Um, it's one hour flight to Warsaw, or a few hours to uh, by train, so it's quite close. 
and the conference is, is awesome. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you. That's it.